Hi everybody, 4th of July, happy Independence Day. Debbie Wysocki here from Florida Luxury Homes Group. And I just wanna give a shout out to my good friend, Pat Rogers. And I've just gotta congratulate her. She's doing such a great job. And I promised her I would uh, do a little video for her and share some content. So I have some notes here, so excuse the notes. But I'm gonna share with you um, some things that have really helped me in my career and it's developing seven essential networks because it's all about the relationships no matter what business you're in. I happen to be in real estate. I'm a luxury agent in East Fort Lauderdale and about 25% of my business is luxury vacation rentals and the other 75% is helping great people buy and sell beautiful homes um, on the east side of town. So these are seven networks that I have found that are extremely important to develop, okay? So the first one is your spiritual network, where we worship. And it's the law of sowing and reaping. And um, if you believe you're highly blessed, favored, and ready to receive a supernatural miracle today, then you are in the right place. So um, I hope you all look for opportunities to serve others every single day. And uh, at the end of the day, I hope you can say that um, you've helped somebody in some way. So that's number one. Now that's not to say that uh, where I worship, I uh, shove my business down people's throats. Because I think that's the wrong thing to do. We're there, we're there to serve our God, right? So um, it's kind of subtle. I can say in the um, 20 plus years um, that I've gone to Calvary Chapel, never once have uh, I asked someone for business. They've approached me. So I, I think that's, that's the difference. It's, um, I have an ad on my car, I put ads in um, playbills, and I volunteer. So it's, it's how you develop that network. I hold luncheons there. Um, called Finding Faith and Fortune for Women, Christian Business Women, and I, I spread the gospel. So the God of your, your choice, you want, to, um, you want to develop that network. That's, that's network number one. Number two, social. Who are your friends? It's been said that our income is the average of our 10 closest friends, or at least the 10 people we spend the most time with. So once you identify your top 10, would you say that they're stretching you? Um, so is it your friends or are, are, you, um, are your friends the people, let me put it another way, the people you're hanging out with the most, are they your work colleagues, are they mentors, or are you just marking time with certain people? Because you wanna be stretched you want to you want to create more hopefully in your life and um, that will give you a good indication so think about who you spend a lot of time with okay the next area that this was when this idea was pointed out to me probably about 15 years ago it was my cell phone what are the 10 most frequently dialed numbers and how many of those numbers do I not want to talk to? So if you get a phone call coming in and you're thinking, hmm, I don't really want to talk to that person right now, then that's a good indication. It's a conversation you need to have to, you have to have with them saying, hey, I've got a plan for this year and I've got some big goals I want to accomplish. So we need to have a talk that if you're having a bad day, I'm happy to listen to you vent for three minutes. And after three minutes, you're gonna have to find somebody else to share with because I have to accomplish my goals this year. So that would be what I would share with you. And the other thing I would um, encourage you to do is create what I call a love posse. And those are people that you can go to for support, uh, share your dreams with and they're going to be there for you to encourage you Okay, we don't want you to have small thinkers and dream stealers We want people that will um, back you up 
hopefully it's your mom, it's your spouse, a good girlfriend, somebody that's really going to encourage you. Um, number three is your professional network. So we want to belong to um, whatever industry um, organizations there are for me. Um, when I get a new designation, I always join that work. That network, and of course, the board of realtors is um, a must-do. You can't you can't be a realtor without being part of the board, and um, and any other uh, for me any other designations that are appropriate for for realtors um, are very big. But look into your industry, whatever profession you are in. And make sure you join that because it, it shows that you take your profession seriously. And also, it doesn't mean that um, it's competition for you because it may mean that your competition thinks that you're great. And there may be somebody that that person can't help, but they can refer out to you because you're amazing, right? So you, you want to get referrals from other people and be able to refer um, clients to other people that you may not be able to assist. So that's really important. It's also great to be plugged in, okay? You wanna know what's happening within your, your industry, so it's important. Um, you also um, could be like I said, you'll be a strong referral source when you when you are plugged in, and maybe you want to, like on a board, um, like the the board of realtors, you might want to go through the chairs of that and uh, become politically involved in that organization. And um, I can I can say that uh, sometimes that could even create cross state referrals for you. Okay, so um, that's number number three. So number four is. Um, ethnic okay so if you have ties to any ethnic or cultural communities this network can be critical for you so in the real estate world that's a um, when we go and show houses anything that we could get in trouble for so um, if you were to say let me put it let me be politically correct here if we were to um, if we were to not show a house to someone because they were old or if they were black, if they were Hispanic, if they were Asian, if they had kids, we could get in trouble for that. But in this case, you wanna capitalize on anything you can capitalize. If they're a woman, if they're old, or if you're old, if you're, I should say, if you're a senior over 50, and that we all probably qualify for that, um, if you're um, any cultural thing, um, if you're gay, if you're, uh, transgender you want to take advantage of any kind of thing you can take advantage of okay so anything that I could get in trouble for if I was showing you or not showing you a house this is the thing to take advantage of okay so um, this is a, a really big thing here so I will tell you um, that there are three groups particularly relating to women and if you're marketing to them, this is important to become involved in these communities any way you can. African American women, Latina women, and Asian women. Their wealth is growing staggering by staggering amounts. And if you can create ties in this community, um, kudos to you. Because these women are becoming incredibly wealthy. And if you can create business relationships with them, your business will explode too. Now, number five is women. Now, more than likely, if you're in Pat's network, you're a woman or you love women, right? So um, you want to become involved in women's networking organizations. And um, Women's Prosperity Network is one of my favorites. I've been involved since the beginning. But there's almost um, a women's group for every single thing. Women in e-commerce, women's wealth, women's you name it, women's technology, women's real estate, um, women's nursing, women's doctors, um, femme professionals, so um, women's lawyers. So if you're a woman, get plugged in to whatever profession you are. Now here's a key factor to note that women influence between 83 
and 87% of every purchasing decision. Now, if you're not talking to women when they buy something or when you're influencing your sale or in your sales presentation, you are totally missing the boat. So tailor your um, sales presentation to the woman because she has the last say. I hate to... I hate to tell you, but if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, okay? So that saying is as true today as it was 50 years ago, okay? Because she influences every purchasing decision and she really does control the money. Now, number six, so that gender is number five, uh, but number six is community service, which translates into volunteer work. What causes are you truly passionate about? Okay, so this is really important. All right, we want to know what, what you care about. And when you truly volunteer with organizations that you care about, you're going to become involved with other people that are passionate about those same, those same causes. And when they see that you're genuine and authentic, they're going to open up what I call their Rolodex to you and give you great referrals when they find out what you do for a living because they're going to want to make connections. It's naturally what we do. We want to help the people we care about, right? I know when I go to buy something, the first thing I do is look in my phone to see who does what I need to buy, okay? I don't buy from strangers unless it's a last resort, okay? So I always think about, hey, who does what I need? I go through my phone first if I can't find it. Then typically I'll call a friend and say, hey, who do you know who does X, Y, Z? Okay? So number seven is interest and hobby. Be part of a club that celebrates uh, the activities that you like to do. Simply put, it's fun to be around people who have similar interests. And the same thing is going to happen that happens in community service. They're going to make referrals to you. So as you go through your daily activities, think about the nature of your life. Include all of these networks in your life and remember to be more interested in the people around you than trying to be interesting. That's the key. And the more opportunities you allow yourself to be involved in, the more valuable you're going to become to other people. Okay? And really, try to be a difference maker. My mom taught me that early on, um, look for opportunities to, to help others. Okay, so hopefully this was valuable to you. Again, Debbie Wysocki from Florida Luxury Homes Group. If you want to find me on the internet, uh, my website is floridaluxuryhomesgroup.com. I'd love to be of assistance to you if you know of someone who's looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate. I always love referrals. And um, of course, if you're looking to have a family reunion, um, I have amazing homes on the beach and close to the beach. And I hope you are celebrating Independence Day or by the time you get this, it may be after Independence Day. So I hope you had a great barbecue. Bye for now.